All right, I'm just gonna show a real quick and easy uh, way to use Cheat Engine to get infinite money in Baldur's Gate 3. Very simple, straightforward. The way that these games work is that you have uh, items stored in slots in your inventory. These are all slots and they are all referenced there. They all have their own references. In this case, we're gonna look for the slot that has gold in it and we can identify that slot by looking for this fairly unique number here that is the amount of gold in there. Okay, so the way that this works is first you're gonna look for this number in memory. So I have uh, Cheat Engine loaded up here. It's attached to Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is, let's see, 1985. I know uh, they were maybe a little uh, ambitious with their values. Um, they chose to make this an eight byte value, which is fine. In a lot of 64 bit games, you might find them going all the way up to eight bytes for simple values like this, but it just means it can go really, really high. So in this case, 1985 is the first value. And if eight, eight, if you don't find anything with eight bytes, you can always try four bytes and float byte, float values, there's different types, but um, usually it's four bytes, if not, then eight bytes, uh, often for these just round round numbers, not uh, decimal points. Okay, so here's all the, all the values, 329 values in memory um, with that number. So we're gonna now find a way to, we essentially need to just change this number so that we can look for it, how it's changed in memory. In this case, all we have to do is split it. Let's do, sure, like that. Now, notice how it's split into two slots. We're still looking for this one slot in memory. If we try looking for this one, then it's gonna throw off all the values because it's gonna only hold values from the previous scan, which we're trying to find for this, this uh, slot. So in this case, I'm gonna move this out of the way here. Remember, we're looking for 1,271 in this slot. So go back here. 1,271, hit enter, and boom. It's narrowed it down to this one value. Now, if I go and change this to, I don't know, let's, let's just make it a, a higher number, not, nothing crazy, because after 10,000, then it starts to, uh, it just shortens it. So let's make this, I don't know, 5,555. Great. So notice it won't change here, though. That is until, uh, because this is the visual display of it, the value in memory has changed, but as soon as I go and add this back in, it's going to add as if the underlying value there is 5,555. So add this over, boom. Now we have 6,269. And just to prove to you that the number is pretty high, I'm gonna change this, this value here to something really high, 99,999, which we can get away with because it's an eight byte value, integer value, not a four byte. Okay, great. And now I'm gonna split it again. And let's just, sure, split it to this. Now it's 98,000 left. So there you have it, a very easy way to, uh, technique to get infinite money essentially in Baldur's Gate 3. You can use the same technique with really most values you'll find where there's a number in here, which is, and games like this are great because they give you the numbers everywhere and they're usually nice. Even numbers, not, uh, you know, unless you're dealing with experience, then it gets a little more difficult, um, but because they might use floating point values. Anyways. That's all for today. Uh, that's pretty straightforward, easy way to use Cheat Engine to find and uh, to find the values in memory.